Have made fire. What's going on, YouTube? This is 903 Fishing. We are back at Winchester Park in Chandler, Texas. Texas Parks and Wildlife has just restocked the pond with 500 more trout. We're going to see what we can do today. I'm going to put the Blue Fox flashes back to work. I'm with Steven from Fishing with Sasquatch Outdoors. Y'all be sure to go check his channel out. He's just getting started on it. Hopefully, this will be his first video that he posts from today. Let's see what we can do. All right, guys, like I said in the intro, these blue fox flashes, they work perfect for trout. I'm going to start off with the green right here. A little green with the spinner on it. This worked really well for me last time, so hopefully it works again. I am fishing with my Zebco 33. Light action. Got 12-pound mono on here. We are going to rig this up, and hopefully these trout want it today. That is the plan. There he is, Bo. Get him in here. Small one. That was the first fish of the day. Small one. You want to keep that one? You want to keep that one? Yeah. All right, guys. The bite has been tough for me, but I realized that I had the wrong size lure on. I've been fishing with an 18th ounce. Now I finally switched over to uh, the 316th and I've started to catch fish or I'm starting to get bites anyway. So y'all bear with me. Let's see if we can't catch some more. There he is. There he is. There we go. Finally, popping it. There we go, guys. A little rainbow. Oh man, they're so slippery. So slippery. actually one of the bigger ones I've caught out of here. Nice fish. Oh, there he is again. Done came up. Came up. Back to back cast. There we go. Nice. Nice guys, nice. Back to back cast. That's a little thicker one right there. Yes, sir. Back to back cast on the inline spinner. This is the 3 16 ounce. I messed around and got the 1 8 ounce, and I, I think the weight wasn't keeping it towards the bottom, but this seems to be the ticket now. Oh, there he is. There he is. Come on here, buddy. There he is. All right. Well, three really quick. Yeah, I just asked him to go get that stringer for me. I appreciate it. Mm -hmm. 
There he is. There he is, guys. Well, it's one way to put him in. There he is, guys. A little rainbow. Golly. Boy, they hitting. They hitting now, guys. There he is. There he is. Well, that's two casts, two in a row. Hey, Steven. I just caught two on two casts over here. A little rainbow trout. There he is. Yeah. Well, guys, I got my limit. Five rainbow trout right there. Got my limit. I don't know if I'm going to try to catch, clean, and cook these or not, to be honest with you. I don't know what I want to try to do. Never done it before. It'd definitely be an interesting thing to do. Definitely. Who knows? What's going on, guys? We are about to leave Winchester Park right now. Me and Steven both have a, a limit of, of rainbow trout. Uh, thank you, Texas Parks and Wildlife, for putting trout in here, or otherwise, us Texans probably wouldn't see many trout. But anyway, I'm about to take these home for you guys, and I'm gonna do a clean and cook as well. Now, I have never cleaned trout, never ate trout, so this should be interesting. Bear with me, all right? You have a good day, Steven? Oh yeah. All right, well, St I believe Steven's gonna do a catch, clean, and cook on his channel as well. What is it? Fishing with Sasquatch Outdoors. This will be my first video too. Yes, sir. Y'all be sure to check him out, Fishing with Sasquatch Outdoors. Y'all stay tuned. Next time you see me, I'll be cutting these babies up. All right, guys, I got the five rainbow trout here. I've already cleaned this one. Basically what I'm doing is, I'm gonna show y'all. I'm going right here, the anal fin, and I am cutting up all the way until right, right where the gills split right here where the gill split now and then I split it open all right and then what I'm doing is I'm getting a spoon I got my my, my gut bucket right here I'm getting a spoon and I am cleaning all those guts out you gotta pull some of them out you gotta get them out good and then there's going to be there's going to be a bloodline right right below that spinal cord. What I'm doing, and I'm just kind of bleeding it out. So let me go ahead and cut this head off. Cut the head off. Then I don't know if y'all can see that, but there's a there's a, a bloodline all the way down. And this is my first time cleaning trout, so I didn't know this. But what I'm doing is I'm getting my thumb right below the anal fin. And I'm pushing all of that blood out. I'm pushing it out. And it is quite a bit of blood, honestly. Way more than I thought there would be. And of course, we're going to clean these, okay? We're going to, you know, put them under the water, clean them off as good as possible. And then what else I'm doing is I'm cutting back just behind the tail to get that split all the way down to the tail and we're going to be grilling these whole guys we're going to grill them whole so like i said there is a little bit of blood but we are going to clean that out and then we're going to grill them whole so there you have it all right guys i got the grill i'm going to go ahead and get the grill going i'm kind of struggling with daylight right now so I'm going to go ahead and get this grill going and uh, getting it ready to put these trout on. So, by the time I clean the trout, season them, and, and prep them, should be ready to go. Let's go ahead and get this started. There we go. Ah. Right. Have made fire all right guys we got all five trout gutted with their heads cut off now we're just going to run them over some cold water try to get all the blood and stuff out from underneath them out from the from the body cavity so that is what i'm doing now I'm going to give them a good cleaning 
There we go. They are clean on the inside. Look at there, clean. And that's how we're gonna grill them, right there. Just gotta do all of them that way. Alright guys, the grill is ready to go. I'm gonna go ahead and place I'm gonna go ahead and place the trout on the grill right in the middle where it's the most hot. Right in the middle. Alright guys, I'm gonna set my timer on my phone for 15 minutes. We're gonna go 15 minutes on the grill. We'll come back and check them. Y'all stay tuned. All right, guys. They have spent seven minutes on the grill. I'm going to go ahead and flip them. I'm going to flip them, all of them, so we can get an even cook here. Sorry, I'm recording at the same time here. Go ahead and flip them. And we'll come back in about six to seven minutes. And we will see what they look like. All right, guys, we have taken the trout off of the grill. And this is what it looks like right here. Sorry about that. Let me get this. Let me get a little piece. It is flaky white meat. Look at that, guys. Flaky white. That's not bad. That is not bad at all. Mm. Now, I did grill it with... The skin still on the trout but if you look at this the meat just slides right off of the trout mmm that is actually very good very very good guys mm. now trout have a lot of little bones in them I bet you could just pick this off look at that there is a bone in there you got to make sure not to get the little bones but the bones slide right out of the meat look at that that is some good stuff. Mmm. Wow. First, my first trout catch, clean, and cook, guys. Mmm. If y'all want to try this recipe, I would highly recommend it. Look at that. White meat. Mmm. Here, let me unwrap one of these jokers and let y'all see it. Mmm. Man, that is good. I'm very surprised guys there it is right there I did seven minutes on one side and seven minutes on the other I flipped them over there it is right there this skin just peels right off and then you have that white fluffy meat right there let me let me get some of this one see if it tastes the same that meat just comes right off the bone guys oh my gosh mmm Mmm. Well, I am going to enjoy the rest of this trout. Whole cooked trout. White flaky meat right there. Guys, it is very good. Very tender. It's very moist. Like I said, you definitely need to be careful with these little bones right here. I also noticed that you can pull out this spine. See, see all those that spray of bones right there? Set that to the side. It goes all the way to the tail. There's the other piece of it. And then, once you do that, you have all meat. Look at that meat. Rainbow trout, guys. First time cleaning and first time cooking. I'm very impressed. Very, very impressed. This is very good. Rainbow trout in Texas. Like I said, you pulled that spinal, so all this right, all this 
is meat. And weirdly enough, the skin on the backside just stuck to the foil, which is what I was not trying to get it to do for putting the butter on there, but they're very juicy. Very juicy, very tender, very good, guys, right there. All right, guys, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. This was my first trout catch, clean, and cook. I think it went pretty well. You know, I kind of just did everything from scratch. The only thing that I really looked up was how long to grill the trout in the foil. So I highly recommend that little recipe that I did. Honestly, that is the same ingredients that I put in my crappie batter. So I went with it and guys, it ended up turning out really, really well. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you're subscribed to 903 Fishing, God bless you. I thank you so much. If you're not subscribed, I would highly recommend to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget that notification bell so you can be notified as soon as content hits the channel. And like always, like, comment, and subscribe to 903 Fishing. Y'all have a great day. God bless.